Hi, Achim Schlöffel, Inner Space Explorers. Today we want to talk about knives and cutting tools. So in the early days divers tend to buy big knives, I don't know, maybe to compensate something. Um, and they usually carried them on their legs. So here is a nice example of one of these swords. So um, the first thing is that it's really big and um, so hard to store. The only way to, to really carry it is to put it on your leg. Next thing is they have these retainers um, from rubber. So to get the knife out, you have to take this thing off, which is sometimes a little bit tough. So um, if you're in a stress situation, um, you don't want to play with this retainer. Second thing, it's rubber, it will break. And if it's not there, the knife will actually fall out um, quite nicely and you can lose it. Next thing, as you can see, it's a pretty heavy tool. So unless you want to, want to kill somebody, um, I don't know what you what you need it for, but it's it's um, it's far too big um, and holds far too much um, negative points to carry just to to cut some line. Also, of course, you can cut line with it, but um, it's not a point to carry such a such a big uh, thing um, just to cut some line in an emergency. What I also um, like to keep in mind is that today uh, you may have issues traveling with one of those because uh, most people will not accept um, that this is your dive knife. So, um, nice piece for your collection, but not something you want to carry during a dive. Even um, today, there are some manufacturers who still manufacture some stuff like that. So, um, here's a more modern example. It's actually a titanium knife um, with a plastic sheet. Same thing, you have to carry it on your leg and um, just it looks kind of cool but um, it's nothing you want to use for your for your daily diving and the funny thing is they don't even cut very well so uh, I can show you here that it takes quite a bit to cut the cave line here and um, so this is not very convincing Gone. here is another example let's take this off for a moment um, here's another example, that's a military diving knife, a um, piece of my collection, um, quite nice for somebody who likes knives, but uh, nothing I would ever think about taking into the water if you lose it, it's quite expensive and again, um, it's not a tool that we need for normal recreational or technical diving. And again, big sheet, um, hard to carry it somewhere and therefore um, keep it at home. Enjoy it, but don't take it on a dive. Now I have two smaller examples um, for dive knives, actually stuff that is sold today. Both very sharp, um, but both with one major, or actually with two major disadvantages. There's the two tips that are really, really sharp and they have both edges on both sides. So first of all, you can hurt yourself, you can cut your gear and when you take them away and put them back in the sheet and you put it next to the sheet, you may puncture your, your suit, your wing or other parts of your equipment. So this is not a good idea. Actually, this one I use for fishing where it's quite nice, but I have it on the boat, but I would never ever carry it on a dive. Um, next thing is again, it's sheets where you can easily lose them if you do not put them in properly. This one is a plastic sheet again, um, there's a retrainer, so if you press this you can also easily lose it and again you would have to carry it in a position where it is probably on the way. I see a lot of people carrying knives like that on the arm, on the side, looks kind of cool and of course you can access it with your, with your other hand, you can see it which is good, but if this hand is entangled or occupied with something else, with this hand you have a hard time reaching that knife so it's not a good idea as well. So let's talk about the knives that we recommend um, after all these negative examples and the most wanted knife so to speak is this one. It's actually a kitchen knife it has a serrated edge that goes all the way to the handle if you compare it with this one there the serration stops quite a bit from the angle so you lose this part of it as a cutting device so that's not a good example but this one's quite nice it's very cheap about four euros in most supermarkets 
you can take an edge grinder, cut it off, make it nice, round and smooth and you have a, a dive knife that also doesn't hurt you if you lose it. The knife is uh, the, the knife sheet is Cordura, um, has a nice grip on the knife. You can see I'm not losing it, I cannot shake it out of this. Um, you carry it on the belt of your backplate, so it's in this position. You have visual access to it. You can use it with both hands um, and if you need it you can just pull it out. The next thing is these knives are razor sharp, especially with the serration. So cutting line is not an issue at all. Um, if the line is, is tight, um, you can see easily. And this is actually what it is for, cutting lines when you get entangled or lines that are in the way and are a potential risk um, for other divers. If you're not into edge grinders and making one yourself and you want to buy a commercial knife, let's take this one off for a moment. Um, Scubro has a nice one. Um, it's a titanium knife again. Also, not a real tip. It's dull here. You can see it cannot hurt my finger. No problem at all. Um, it has a really nice serrated edge, so um, also very sharp and um, really nice um, for cutting line. And um, it comes also in a Cordura sheet that you can carry on your belt. The only downside on this knife is the, um, the Velcro that holds it. First of all, you have to open it before you can take it out. And this Velcro starts to collect a lot of dirt and, and, um, and fiber. And at some point it doesn't really hold down anymore. And then you can actually lose the knife. Actually, I lost quite a few of those. Um, but overall, it's a nice knife and I can recommend it. So when we're done with the knives, I would like to um, talk about additional cutting devices that we can use. So there's um, the so-called set knife or the line cutter and uh, there's two types. There's the U-shaped one and there's the set-shaped one, which we have an example here. And we recommend those as additional cutting tools or as backup if you lose your knife. Or sometimes, for example, when you cut nets, it's much easier to cut a net with a line cutter than with a knife, um, especially if you pull it tight and you can really cut through it. I will give you an example. Um, let me get my line back here. So the downside of this one is, as cool as it looks, um, when you put it on, you can see that I put a lot of pressure on it and it's not cutting the line. So actually I have to make a sawing movement to go through the line and this is because of the U shape. Second thing is that it has a serrated edge here and if you just take it you can cut your gloves, you can cut your fingers. So I'm not a big fan of that, um, especially not of all these U shape um, type of cutters. When you take your set knife instead, which has a sharp angle here, um, you can just, as you see, cut line like nothing and um, you can grab it easily, you can pull the line and you can cut through it and it works really nice with nets. Um, you cannot hurt yourself, it's completely protected, your finger cannot go in here. Um, it's round edges and it comes in a nice velcro pouch as well and you can carry it next to your knife, you can see it and you can access it with both hands. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is additional cutting tools that you can use for wire and uh, the more heavy stuff that probably a line cutter or a knife cannot cut anymore. So when you do a lot of wreck diving, um, you come along some cables that are hanging down from the ceiling and that are a potential danger. And um, I want to show you on this piece of cable here that with the knife you can actually not cut those. Um, can try with the cutter. No, doesn't work. So what you use is um, a wire cutter and there you can actually see that that is uh, without any problems. So these cutters you can buy in shops for bicycles and bike repair. They are um, usually used to cut the um, steel cable that goes from the brakes um, to the brake pads. 
and uh, as you can see they have a sharp edge in here but they have a blunt tip so again very safe and we can you can put it in your pocket without uh, cutting your suit or um, um, damaging any other gear I just put a um, piece of bungee around here so to keep it close um, and the bolt snip obviously to attach it so that is something I keep in my pocket if I do dives where I can expect wire to to become a potential uh, danger all right that's it so we talked about the knives set knives and um, the wire cutter and um, that's all we need Thank you.